the number one obvious difference between the two in their hull shapes is is the size and shape of their bustle. Ineos with the more dramatic square shaped bustle with Luna Rosa more of the the rounded shape both which um, will help to provide the end plating effect necessary to carry the sail plan all the way down to the water when the boat is up and flying but also will allow both boats a fair amount of buoyancy to get up uh, and skid across the water through their acceleration phase to get up onto their foils faster. Both Ineos and Lunarosa are currently sailing with an anhedral angled foil where you've got your foil that comes down and terminates at a certain point and then goes out to wings that are on an angle. You know, that's designed to sort of try to maximize the wing span potential uh, and they've got traditional flaps on the back end. Both teams um, will know very well what their limitations are of their own foils and how they play that relative to their opponent is going to be an obvious uh, component of the Product Cup Finals. I mean, you've got 11 people on board who have to handle flight control, sail control, keep your head out of the boat, look at what's happening with the breeze, look at what's happening with your competitor, and these two teams have taken dramatically different approaches. Lunarosa, as you know, has two helmsmen. Whoever is the windward helmsman is driving the boat and controlling uh, the, trim of the trim of the boat and the lured helmsman is just flying the boat. Whereas Ineos has, they also have two flight controllers, except they don't exchange those between their helmsmen, they exchange those between one of their grinders. Now, Ineos also has a pass-through through Giles Scott and through Ben, where they can control the trim of the boat. So they have the same um, capabilities spread amongst multiple people on Ineos that sort of gets passed through when you hear them in the communication loop say, my pitch, my trim, my roll, my heel. Those are the guys passing back and forth control of different mechanisms. I think, I honestly do believe that this series is gonna be really, really close. Okay, Fox has got us just making lay here. I do have a gut instinct and it's purely gut instinct that Luna Rosa is going to pull it out. Pressure everywhere, yeah? uh, if they can keep Pietro's head out of the boat looking around and making sure that he's got a good handle on wind shifts. Better pressure this side here yeah, now. Yeah, I think they'll be incredibly even matched and it wouldn't surprise me if this thing went all the way to the full 13 races.